Your name is already on that license, okay? Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Ella Batty, and I'm back again with another video. And in today's video, as you guys can see, I will be letting y'all know how I passed my cosmetology state board test on the first try. So in this video, you guys are gonna be getting the whole rundown of what I use to study for my state board test. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be a part of the dog gang, cause baby, we gang over here, we lit over here, nothing with good vibes, great energy, okay? So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. And I'm so glad you found this video because it was just for you. So I'm pretty sure at this point you went ahead and graduated your school part of your journey. So you are no longer in school anymore. My recommendation is to definitely take a break if you are eligible to. I took a one week break off of school. If you could take a one week off, great. I suggest you do the same because in between going to school, full time, part time, you have life, you have school, you have tests, you have clients in and out, maybe running the business, you have work, you have so much other things that you need to let your hair down, let yourself relax. Don't put no more pressure on yourself because the pressure is about to get pressuring. But in this point of time, you definitely deserve a break. You are deserving of a break, it's okay. Take you three days minimum if you can. And if you can do that, seven days length, do that as well. So I did have several, you know, studying mechanism that I did utilize that I did personally for myself that worked for me. The book that I went ahead and used to study was this Clinic International Cosmetology Career Concept Book. Y'all see this book, y'all see how this, this Thick this book is and yes I read this whole entire book like the whole book I read this book okay I do recommend that you guys set a schedule so I'm gonna just tell y'all mostly what I did because you know I'm speaking off my experience that I'm just sharing with y'all you can definitely copy it if you would like or just change it all to it to your likings to your lifestyle whatever works for you so what I did was go ahead and study from Monday to Friday 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. I would study five days a week for two hours in the same spot, the same seat, down the room table, that one seat, that same time, nothing changed. My phone was not even in arm's reach. My phone was in another room because at this time, these two hours that after, you know, you do your morning routine or whatever the case may be, these two hours is dedicated to your studying. It ain't nothing else to be on Instagram. It ain't nothing else to be texting your boo. It ain't nothing else to be texting your sister like, in an emergency, I would suggest, you know, have the phone on ringer, like let people know if you would like to, hey, during this time, whatever, you go have the phone on ringer in another room so that if it is an emergency, you will know. But at that point in time, respectfully, this is your time to be studying. It's no distractions. It's no lally gagging. You're not eating breakfast. You already done ate the breakfast. Like this is your time, your disciplined time to study. I do suggest phone in another room, sit in that same spot every day in ha at home or whatever time works best for you. The morning works best for me. I just woke up, did my morning routine, ate my breakfast. My mind is clear. And then after I didn't went ahead and study, I could go ahead and take out my, I was able to take on my clients and enjoy the rest of my day. Do whatever I had to do, errands, whatever the case may be because I already did that test in the morning. Once you do it in the morning, you don't get it out of the way. It's fresh in your head. You ain't gotta worry about it tomorrow. If you haven't watched my previous cosmetology journey experience, you would have known that I went to two cosmetology schools. The first school was Empire Beauty School, which is how I got this book. So this book will came in my kit. I did go ahead and do some research for y'all where y'all can get this book, which is at empirebeautystore.com for $350. That's really the only place I was able to find this book. So maybe you might have another book from your school. Paul Mitchell didn't have a book. Paul Mitchell had a very much an iPad. And we also use my lady you could definitely use my lady i don't know maybe i'll go ahead and do that and then put it the information in the bottom for my lady it just came to mind just now um you can either use my lady in their book because they do have a book but we was using it on our ipad or you know whatever school that you may go to and also the, another book that i used was the same book but the student stylist course book and what you are able to get off uh, get textbooks.com for 44 45 but also if you was to put this book inside of google a whole bunch of links came up which i go ahead and put in the description box in this book it has seven chapters the seven chapters are path to success hair cutting hair coloring chemical texturizing design principles skin care and nail care so what i decided to do which each week one we was doing path to success week two we was doing hair cutting and so on and so forth so each week for the past seven to eight weeks i did study for about seven to eight weeks before taking a test, I would do um, a chapter for, um, I think I studied for eight weeks, if I'm not mistaken, seven chapters, and then the eighth week was like my 
my flexible week. Before I would start to read, and I'm gonna have to show y'all visuals in a book. I'll probably you know insert clips right now so that y'all can see because trying to lift this big old book, real ghetto. Okay, boom. So before I would start reading, I would take the first hour, because I'm studying for two hours per day, and I would go ahead and write down the definitions. These are the note cards for each chapter. So we have hair cutting. We have chemical texturizing, all the ones that I just previously named that I'm not gonna keep renaming them because it's very redundant, but skincare and so on and so forth. Um, some chapter has more words than others, obviously, because some piles were smaller than others. Okay, so once I went ahead and did my definitions in the first hour, I will begin reading, and in the last 15 minutes, I will go ahead and take the flashcard and I would say the word and read the definition. If I did not know the definition, which was I didn't know like a main keyword of the definition or I really did not know, I would make a complete pie and was like, okay, hey, that's what you need to study. So what I would do, I have another index pile of words I need to study. So in this pile, we have design principles, study, hair color and study, so on and so forth. So these are all the words that I need to go ahead and study. So as you can still see, these cards that I needed to study are still in the studying group meaning out of all of these cards right here that i already knew off the top of my head which pile is bigger if they're not about the same maybe studying is a little bit bigger and the main one that i needed to study that i wasn't you know 100 for sure on was skincare because skincare got some big old words for different parts of, maybe it gets serious and the smallest one um, that needed to study was design principles, but depending on, you know, you know what your interest is is what you're gonna remember the most, whatever the case may be. But this just to prove to show you that even though I didn't remember all 300, whatever, how much words these was, I still pass. This is all I did know for sure. And these are the ones that I need to study. Yes, I would read these a few times and you know, but I did I know them at the back of my hand like this? No, but I definitely did know something about them. So the pile that needs to get studied every day of that same chapter. So let's just say one day I didn't know these whatever words, I'll restudy the ones I don't know the next following day. I would do all of them, but I would make sure I go over the ones I need to restudy as well the beginning of each next um studying day once all the words are written now if that makes sense so for the following days of whatever chapter i'm on the definitions and the words will get reviewed both the ones i already retained which just to make sure to affirm i will go over them at the end of the studying session depending if i have time or not but you know you definitely have to read the word read the definition read the word read the word and read the definition to be able to remember so definitely i highly suggest you guys make note cards so every friday at the end of the week for the chapter that i'm on let's just say hair cutting right i will go ahead and um test myself but prior to doing so there are worksheets inside of this course stylist book right here that i will go ahead and print out well, I would actually copy a machine it at home and print them out so as you can see that they're black and white. And it has tons of visuals and exercises. Even something like this, like matching, matching a word to the um to the definition. And this is just, you know, help you be able to retain the information. It has all the disorders of the scalp, disorders of the hair, disorder of the scalp and the hair, disorders of the follicle. It has all the words you're gonna go ahead and write the characteristics that you can go ahead and find in a book. These are exercises. This is not part of the test yet. This is just exercises just to keep it, you know, different ways to retain the information. The you because you don't know what you're gonna see on the table. This is a visual, label them. These are the options that they give you. Where is the derma pillar, the hair follicle, etc.? Proton, neutron, electron. Um, write the word in the definition and then fill it out. So basically, it just has a whole bunch of exercises that I love. So if y'all do nothing else, if y'all can't get that big book, big book. Definitely get this course book, but it does go hand in hand. So I did that for every chapter. We have same thing for design principles. It definitely shows you label the type of volume achieved, minimum, medium, or maximum. And then it has a visual picture and you label it. Even face shapes for design principles. Oval square hair, you know, round head. 
you just go ahead and write them out. The ones that you know at the top of your head, you know, you know, you're real confident. The ones you got to go ahead and look in a book, that's fine. That's what it exercises is for. So you'll go ahead and do that. Go inside of the book, which I'm going to show y'all now, and test myself with a state board review. There are also many quizzes that I would take um, on a little piece of paper. You can see I got a few wrong. What's in orange? Y'all can see is what I got wrong. I don't know if it's focusing, but I would just um, test myself on some situational scenarios. So for example, so we are in design principles. Okay, again, and it said, Jennifer has worn the same hair design for the last four years and she's ready for a change. During a consultation, you identified that Jennifer has a re rectangular shaped face with prominent cheekbones, a long angular chin and a high forehead. What type of hairstyle would be best to complement Jennifer's face shape? A, B, C, or D. Boom. That's just a little quick little mini quiz, not test, quiz for yourself. You know, these are the situational series that you, questions similar that you will get on state board. So then I go ahead and test myself with the theory review. And sometimes it has at least for this one, it has 60 questions. Another chapter might have a hundred questions, which is great. The more questions, the better you need to be questioning yourself. Um, ask yourself questions as much as possible. So what I would do is in the questions right here next to me, I go ahead on my laptop, title it from one to whatever. I really don't do like one to whatever. I just, you know, enter and then it never appears as I'm doing A, B, C, or D. And then I'll go ahead and test myself and then go back and check the answers. How I check the answers, I just copy paste the question and type the question. Um, Google a quiz that would come up, boom, I'm finding the answer and boom. Any answer that I got wrong or I got by 50-50 educated guess, which means that 50-50, one out of four, it ain't even 50-50 for real because you got four multiple choices. So that 25% that I was able to get right from that question needs to be added to my studying questions because clearly I didn't know that for real. That was just an educated case that I got lucky. That ain't no guarantee. We ain't got time for luck right now. It's not a lucky thing. We're not lucky. We're blessed. So it's either you know it or you don't. But the ones I don't know, here we go again. I done got some color index cards. Now these color index cards has the question and then I put the multiple choice answer. And then what I would do is have the answer at the corner in the back. Okay. So I don't really have them labeled, I don't think. Well, they kind of are labeled by color. I think I really don't remember how I did this. Let's just do an example question, theory question. Color tinted shampoo is categorized as blank hair color. Color tinted shampoo is categorized as blank hair color. Temporary, semi-permanent, demi-permanent, or permanent? The answer is temporary. Color tinted shampoo is categorized as temporary hair color. So I just question myself with it and then I go ahead and check on the answer. I'll make sure I put the answer, the correct answer on the back of the note card. So like I said, any questions that I did not get right or I got by a, a educated guess that I really ain't get for real, that needs to be reviewed. So that's everything I did for the pack for the next seven weeks, seven chapters, seven weeks. I went ahead and purchased pass, pass, pass. Pass, pass, pass. If you know about it, if you know, you know. If you don't, you know. I'm about to put you on right now. It's something that is utilized, but I do not. I do not suggest you just use it on its own and think you're going to pass. You might, but I'm telling you, you not. Just using pass, pass, pass is not because you. it's information that you need to know off of memory, like information that you need to retain in a book work that if you don't really know it for real, you're not really like generally you know, answering the questions. You definitely have to read. This is not no skipping. And you know, like thoroughly study. And I suggest, and when I told you I read this whole book, I read the whole book. So I was over prepared, then under prepared. I'm not just reading just certain segments. I'm reading everything. Cause anything that throw at me, I'm gonna be able to get. So pass, 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 you do need to pay for it. I did pay $39. You do receive an access code from your postcard. It actually just came randomly in the mail. I don't know how it came. It just came in the mail and then I was able to do the access code. I do believe they have um percentage off, but I can't remember the original cost. And I did book my test three weeks prior to the test day I chose. 
which means I was studying for five weeks before I even booked the test. It's so much information that you want to retain and grasp and have to soak in and meditate on that you're not finna just do this in those two weeks. Take your time, whatever that time period is. Do not wait too long. I don't suggest you study six months later after you done left school and then now you want to like, it's better doing when it's as fresh as possible, but give yourself at least a two month period to study, maybe even three, but take your time and study everything. And being that I am in Florida, I don't know if y'all know, but I am in Florida. They did give me this pamphlet at my cosmetology school, the Board of Cosmetology chat, blah, 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 blah. the Department of Business and Professional Regu Regulations. It has so much information, y'all. Some stuff is just like, huh? Huh? I, I said I skimmed through it, but what I really knew I had to go and look for the answer is when pass, pass, pass would ask questions like, um, how much people are in office? How much, like, and them questions do come up in state, boy, it's kind of like, why do we care? Why do we need to know this? But some of them questions do come up in there. Like, how can you get your license revoked, you know, with someone working that doesn't have, you know, a license and, you know, just different state board regulations, stuff like that. So, in this pamphlet, it does come in handy, but definitely the past, past, past questions helped me to go in here, find the answer, and then it was able to, you know, be able to retain in my memory. So, I did purchase past, past, past five days prior to my test, so I wasn't using it this whole time. I'm about to be finished, y'all. I'm sorry I'm talking so much, but, you know, I like to give y'all everything i don't want to leave nothing out and i want to just share my whole experience with y'all after passing my clinical test i was really excited but i didn't want to get too too high because it was like you just did it halfway but you ain't do it all the way so i did study a little bit more i think i ate took a nap i think i had about uh from 10 i would say maybe 11 a.m to like 3 p.m i had that much of a gap because i can't remember how um how Fast, I finished my first test. I can't even remember how many questions it has. I'm sorry, y'all. But I did take the whole entire test and I had to submit it before I knew if I passed or failed. So there was no a certain amount of questions and then I didn't fail. Um, it definitely shows like how much questions you got right in each segment um, of the test overall. And I did study a little bit more past, past, past prior to the test, but I didn't want to like suck myself out. So I didn't overdo it, but I just refreshing myself. And I'm like, I was getting them right off past, past, past. So I'm like, okay, I'm confident. Like I didn't did the first half. I know I could do the second half. And I did take the test at home in the comfort of my home. I was, I didn't do it in the same location I study in. I did it in another room in the house, but I was still alone, not distracted. Um, I just used my MacBook with a the laptop. They scanned the room and it was easy as pie. Like, I was still in the element of sitting at a table, sitting up and focusing. My test did have a lot of nail care, which I was very surprised about. You know, everybody's test is different, has more of this or more of that, but that's why I say study everything so nothing is really like a, like a car that you baby, you ready, you stay ready so you ain't had to get ready. So with that being said, I do wanna go ahead and close out before the intro with a prayer. So let's just go ahead and close our eyes and bow our heads. So Heavenly Father, I just come to you, Lord Jesus Christ, to let whoever is watching this video, he or she, your child, Lord Jesus Christ, whoever state that they're in, Lord God, I just ask that you give them the knowledge, the capacity to be able to retain all this information. I just ask you that you cover them, Lord God, that you give them calmness, that you give them peace in the name of Jesus, that they pick the correct answers. All the answers that they choose are right. I pray that they pass in flying colors, that they won't have to do it again for a second time or the third time. By the first try, Lord God, that if it's in your will and your destiny, that they will pass, Lord God. Thank you for taking them and bringing them this part that they're able to even get to this step because without you they wouldn't be able to be in this predicament Lord God thank you for building them up thank you for the experience They'll go ahead and take the time to put their best foot forward with your help and that they have nothing to worry about they have that no fear no doubt no concerns no worries all their concerns all the worries that they can just go ahead and hand it off to you Lord God in the mighty name of Jesus amen 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 I'm so excited. You already passed. I'm glad that you passed. We speak it to existence. You passed, you passed, you passed. You are a licensed cosmetologist. And I'm just so excited and I'm just so grateful that I'm able to go ahead and share my experience, my mechanism that I just hope that it helped you. If you are not already subscribed, like I said in the beginning of this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, don't hesitate to comment. If you don't want nobody in your business, DM me on Instagram at Labaddy. What's up? Talk to me, chat. I don't buy. I'm real cool. I let it help yeah don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it if you are not ready to subscribe to be a part of the dive of the game make sure you hit that subscribe button thumbs up this video make sure you share it to anybody that you know about the study they need some tips all right bye <laughs> see y'all later thanks for watching